Here we have our milk and um, rice water combination. And you can see how slowly the separation is forming between the whey and the solids and the fermentation is happening. This morning I recorded as the process was starting to happen. And now we have some sediment here in the bottom whey and the solid cheese is forming here in the top and it's still going to keep separating a lot more this is going to be at like a type of fresh cottage cheese like almost like a spread um cheese so so yeah we'll see how it keeps going but you can see the liquid sitting there so earlier today I showed two other steps of the process but now you can really see how one third is solids floating in the top um, and two thirds are way in the bottom so we're going to probably harvest it today and what we are looking for is only the liquid part, the whey. This is um, cheese, so you can put it in a strainer with a cheesecloth and let it strain out the leftover and excess liquid and you will get a little bit firmer cheese. So we're also going to do that and then we can show you the kind of cheese that we're going to obtain. It's a mild, fresh cheese like Probably a style of ricotta, ricotta, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> the moment arrived where we had to strain the cheese out of the um, this container. So there was the big layer of cheese that you saw previously. And we strained all the liquid using the spigot, put it in another container, and then I just dumped... Uh, the curdles or cheese in here with the cheesecloth. I tried it without salt and it was good, good, good. And then it has a bitter aftertaste. I put a little bit of salt, I added it and it tastes good. Maybe it would work well as a cooking cheese, like um, to make lasagna or something like that. But the, there is a strange aftertaste that, I don't know, I've always tasted like a strange aftertaste, but I think we can all adapt our our palate and and maybe do something with it. So we measured just now um, this the quantity of whey that we have, and it was 5.5 liters. So the next step will be preparing this to preserve it, so that we can use this as our mother culture from which we will always take a little bit of, of starter and add a energy source like molasses or sugar and then use it to apply on in the garden. I kind of didn't have time to make a video about the mixing process but we just um, mixed equal amounts of whey, water and molasses and we ended up with this liquid this is our final product of the lab mother culture that you can then dilute again and to reproduce and make a daughter culture to use for the garden for the kitchen to clean um, whatever your use is going to be so this is the whole process and we keep it here in the fridge and that's it that's how you make lab